it is well known that Traveler always copied Archon's skill in some ways, like the Mini Vortex, the Mini Meteor, Overtime Electro Applier, and the Flower Pot. We thought we always have a big brain time when we connecting dots between Archons and MC skill. It's so fun in games, until Fontaine's regen is released. Since Furina's kit is not here yet, it is kinda hard to say. But 95% chance, MC skill is the cheap copy of none but Nuvillet's skills. Which doesn't add up, since Nuvillet is not the Archon. Or maybe he is? Anyway, we got a strong hint that Nuvillet is actually a dragon, or to be exact, Dragon of Water in human form. Just like what the prophecy in Enkanomiya said. The fact that Traveler copied his skill just messed up some theory that we have learned so far. Unless Verena's kid also do this, but there's always light after the darkness. Nivellet's spotlight just broadened our vision about this mystery. All this time, Traveler was never mimicking Archon's skills. How so? Well, if you look closely to Animus MC skill, what does it look like? Ventus Burst? Then what about this? The closest thing that resembles this is the Volin's Tornado. And what about the Geo Traveler? Jolly's Meteor? What about Azdaha's Stomping that kinda resembles Geo MC's Burst? And the Dangerous MC Burst more like Apep's Guardian skill than Nahida's skill. Which lead to an idea, Traveler was never resonating with the Archons and copied their skill, but with the strongest elemental being, the Dragons. If we take a look at the place where MC's got their power, which is the Statue of Seven, it resembles the Archon's Gnosis, and the literal meaning of Gnosis in Chinese is Heart of God. And the only thing that related to Elemental, God, and Dragons is none but the Seven Sovereign. It is clear that the Sovereign was defeated by the Primordial One, which Nahida hypothesized to be the Heavenly Principle. And back to the Gnosis for a little bit, in Greek word, Gnosis also means knowledge. But the word knowledge might mean different in Genshin's universe. Just like the forbidden knowledge, which somehow depicted as memories or power that proved to be massively destructive towards the world. So there's a possibility after Seven Sovereign was defeated, the Primordial One took their knowledge and shaped it into the Gnosis like the one that we know, and gave it to the Archon as the winner of the Archon War. Which summarized this short theory as, MC's power was never related to the Archons, but to the power of the Dragon themselves. Their knowledge was taken after their defeat and reshaped into Archon's Gnosis, which is why Archon didn't lose their power even after they lose their Gnosis, because it was never part of their original ability. And Traveler's power that resembled Nivellet's skills, which believed to be the next Dragon of Water, strengthened the part where all elemental power was came from the knowledge or power of the Old World's Dragon. And all MC skill is related to the Dragons. Of course this speculation could go wrong at any time, but that's the fun part of the theory, right? So what do you think about this? That's all for today, thanks for watching.